Retief Goosen at the fourth. Yeah, just 148 yards today. Uh, probably just nine iron for Goose, and he takes this flag on. Just a beautiful shot in there, and he would make birdie two at the fourth. Well, Gonzalez, the winner in Morocco earlier this year. Yeah, this is a big boy par three. Up the hill, 187, playing every bit of the yardage. Carried on the front of the green, let it try and release to the flag. And Ricardo does that just beautifully. Wonderful shot. Steve Flesh from long range here. He was all over the lot at the sixth. He was. Hit a very poor shot. Had the layup. Had 200 in for his third shot and makes birdie four. He was joined by Ken Duke, who popped one in for birdie here at the eighth. Yeah, nice shot in here. Hole high for Ken. This is just a little right to left swinger. And he buries it. Very nice. 72 men qualified for this event. Up a hole to the ninth, and the third shot now for Ken Duke. Yeah, tough hole for Kenny to reach in two. Just lay it up. It's it's a very good layup. Got to play a quality shot to get it in position. And he plays a nice little three-quarter wedge in there using the slope. Really fast right there. These greens are running almost 14. And he did. And that's a wonderful birdie four at the ninth for Ken Duke. Yeah, he's got to be careful trying to control the spin here. He can get the ball spinning pretty good at times. And there it comes. That's excellent. Really well done there by Goydos. Great shot. This should be just a formality for Goydos. Sensational shot in there, and he pops that one in to get the six under. Up to the 10th we go, and Ricardo Gonzalez to join Ken Duke at the top. Up the slope, going to move a little right to left. Ooh. Oh, and it does. It turns right at the end to get in there. Great putt. Very much of the picture here to start the weekend. This is a 10. A little bit of a down slope, but he hits it high enough. Shouldn't be an issue. Not un leaves it underneath the hole, so that's a very nice play there by Stuart Saint. Just like that. Buried it. Well, you get yourself underneath the hole here, you can make some putts. These greens are pure. Probably close to 60 feet here at 17. Yeah, from the front left all the way to the back right. Very well done. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Oh, what a bonus. Hello. And look who's in the mix here after three straight. Harrington within three of the lead. Nice line. Yeah, well done. Perfect. I mean, if you can get right. it under the hole and left, yeah, that's great. That's exactly where you'd like to have it. Beautiful shot there by Goose. I think it makes it a little simpler looking approach. Back at 11, and Gordo's from some range here to get to seven under. Oh, yes, oh hello. Sir. Look at Paul Gordo's. Birdies at nine and 11 for Gordo's, who has hit. Chalmers back to work at 11 here, John. You guys are making me hungry. <laughs> I already passed that spot. No real obstacles there for Greg. He just needs to roll out, and it is. This is a pretty good looking shot. I guess that's really well done, and probably inside five feet for his par. That'd be some four. Let's see what O'Neill can do this uh, with this one here at 16. Well, the lie is clean. Has to bounce it short. Pretty well done. Very well done. How about it? How about oh, it? Oh, oh. Yeah, it was doable. And look in on our man Kenny Perry trying to close out his Saturday with a birdie. Look at KP with a 67. Yeah, the ageless one just keeps hanging around and setting up to take this whole location on up in the back right. Used to hang on right there. Oh, very nice. Mm, what a good that. swing and shot that was. Best we've seen at 17 today. Yeah, it looked like a pretty good shot when he hit it. Now, this is Karen for his two at 17. What a birdie two at a big boy par three. Ricardo Gonzalez had a double bogey back at the 11th. Can get him both back here with an eagle at 15. And went with putter, and as you saw, it looked, it looked good in the air for half the way there. Thinking three when you stand on the tee, maybe even two. That's a 
busy scorecard for Ricky Gonzalez. Just a Tim O'Neill double bogey the 17th and has a chance to eagle the 18th. Yeah, could really use this. Be a serious bounce back. Either way, it's a good hole and gets him back one shot closer to the leader. Yeah, that'll be 67 for Tim, who started the day tied for 18th and has moved up the leaderboard swiftly. And the bigger picture looks a lot brighter as well. Projected at 41st through 36 this week. Let's get you to 16, where Gonzalez is aboard the par 5 and 2. Two good shots by Gonzalez to get this up in here. Just going to hang there short. And a short birdie putt here for Gonzalez. Yeah, be a two putt birdie. He gets it to go down, and it's a well played hole. Ken Duke aboard the par 5, 16th in two. That's two big hits for Ken Duke. I wouldn't have thought he'd have been putting it up hole high, but it's really well done and good first putt. It's going to be a simple birdie for Ken. And back at 16, just to pay off the Duke birdie to get to nine under. First birdie since the turn after he reeled in six on the opening nine today. Yeah, if he gets it just out of the bunker, a little bit to the right. Carried it too far. Yeah, a little bit too far, so that'll be eight feet. Didn't sound like a good catch either. Yeah, Kitchen. it didn't have that spanky sound. No. Kind of had a little chunky. He's got it set up over there. He started it there. Oh, yeah. There it is. That was... That'll break the ice. He had that aim perfectly and put it right on his line. That was really well done. Well, I think the birdie at 17 was unexpected for Harrington. That was a 60-footer, and I think anybody standing on this tee would be happy to walk off here with three. Kenny Duke looking to feather one back there. How about this delivery into 17? It's, except for Kenny Duke. He's going to be disappointed if he doesn't get <laughs> two after that shot. What a great strike that was. Birdie two at 17 would be spectacular. Oh, no. That was not good. That was the first one we've seen him miss of anything today. Yeah, not a good tee shot getting a big fairway down there. All he had to do is put it left of the bunker, and he could have had iron into the screen probably. Probably trying to chase the spitter up the right side. Slide a little five wood or something underneath it. There you go. He did just that. That was really well done. That was well thought out. Good shot. Kind of shot you can play from the rough easier than playing a long iron. Just slide a five wood or something or hybrid through there. A heck of a second shot for Stewart Sink to find a piece of the green here. Yeah, it was a nice play from that lie in the rough and good 45, 50 feet. Look at this. Hold your head. Maybe. Oh, no. How does it miss? Oh, my goodness. Boy, an eagle would have been massive right there had that gone down. Stress free four at 16 for Sink to get to minus seven. We saw the man who's right on the number at 54, and that's Paul Goidos. This for birdie at 16. And there you go. He'll move off the number with a four at the par five. Good chance he will. It slopes off both sides. Yeah. Kind of running a ridge here for Fleshy. Yes, Steve getting in there pretty quick and got it on the line too. Yeah, he does. That's pretty well done. Just ran out of gas, but yeah. that was a really good putt from there. Something in 16 does not suit his eye. He has hit two really poor tee shots at 16. Goosen has. That's the first back nine birdie for Steve Flesh, and that will produce a two under par round of 70. Flesh is in at seven under. He'll be in the final group of the day with Ricardo Gonzalez and Ken Duke on Sunday here. Everybody in the right column there in green. That means they're in good shape for Little Rock. 